Hello guys, good evening, welcome. I really hope you had a great weekend. Can you listen to me, Joel, Francisco, Melissa, and Jeffrey? Are you guys there? Yes. Good evening, I teacher. Can hear you. Good evening. All right, so welcome. Uh, really hope you have a great week and uh, you're ready for this session. Today, we're gonna have session number 10. And so basically we are starting, uh, this is section four, okay? So welcome, I don't know if you have already seen the videos on the platform. If you haven't, no problem. Today is about telling stories, okay? And um, we're going to learn some grammar aspects, which is about uh, past continuous and also simple past. So that's going to be today's focus, okay? So welcome once again. And there is a story which I'm not going to play because it's a little bit long, but I hope you guys go ahead and access to the platform and you listen to the story that is in there. You can answer to the questions given, okay? So let's get, let's get started. We have, this is the objective. I need to ask one volunteer, maybe Melissa, not a volunteer. Can you please read uh, the objective for today's class? Okay, um, in this class, you will practice the past continuous versus the past simple. All right, simple past. Uh, mm -hmm. it's the same thing, right? So, thank you so much. Now, quick question from what you have learned previously, or from based on what you uh, observed, listened, or studied on the platform, how can you describe past continuous? Anybody? Is when you use uh, to be was and aware and add ing at the bear okay thank you so much that would be the structure right and what about the use the use of it uh, when do we use it and when do we use past continuous and when do we use simple past anybody Okay, Jeffrey, what is it? What's the answer for this? Uh, I see in the video of, of in classroom that we use past continuous when one action start at the past, but this still, but we are still doing uh, or in a, a close past but we use the simple past when it, uh, how do you say, interrupt? Interrupt, interrupt. When, when it's interrupt, the past continue. Okay, yeah, I agree with that comment. Anybody else? What else can you guys add about simple past? And um, is it, which one is more useful or are, are both the same in a way that they're very common? What can you tell me about it? And, or maybe what's the structure for simple pass? You might be saying, oh, this is not, a, this is not an advanced topic. Uh, the purpose of today is to, to compare, right? To distinguish in which, uh, to differentiate in which uh, it's more recommended to use simple past and also past continuous, okay? Um, I think as at this point, we are clear on what a, a very in irregular form is and what a very in regular form is, right? We have this clear. Regulars and irregular verbs, right? And does anybody have a, like any question about regulars or irregular verbs in the past, or are we okay on that? All right, that silence tells me that we are clear, right? Or maybe not. So if, um, well, we need to have this clear because if we're gonna talk about simple past and also past continuous, we have to understand the differences between regulars and irregular verbs and how to use them. Just give me one second, please. There's a dog barking and I, this is really like annoying. Give me a second, I need to close something in here. No problem, teacher.
I think I closed, but I, I really hope it helps a little bit. All right, so let's continue. Then um, let's see what we have. Let's get started at, you know, right at once. I have some uh, information that I that I got from the from the platform. So do me a favor, please. Let's see, um, Jose. Jose Peña, can you read what you see on the screen? We'll appreciate that. Okay. Past progress and simple past one. Use past progress with simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. This is exactly your first idea, right? So we have, well, past progressive yes. is, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So basically, past progressive is, is the same as uh, past continuous, right? And uh, I think it was Melissa who already explained the formula, right? Was where plus ing form. And then uh, we have one activity that interrupts the other. So that's basically the focus of, of today's session. So let's move on. Let's see some examples, okay? So that's uh, the way we can, let's see, let's see. Well, that's the way we can also have some practice and, and better understand these topics. Let's take a look at this idea, okay? And we have, they were enjoying the morning when the thief stole the roof case. In this case, based on your comments, we have um, one action which is in progress in the past, right? But then we have another one, which is the simple past. And this one is the shortest one and also interrupts the long, the longer action, which is the past continuous, okay? And this action is finished, right? It starts and it finished, right? It's the shortest one. So once again, they were enjoying the morning when the thief um, stole the briefcase. Now, um, I would like to hear any example from you in which you start thinking about your past and think about which activity is long, is longer than the other one, and which ones or which one interrupts the other. There are many things that we can say, um, you know, about this topic. So anybody, uh, maybe about yesterday, about you know today in the morning. So what can you tell me about your life, about what you observed maybe today? Any example applying this like structure? Any example about uh, I was or they were, she was, I were, I was having a great time when this happened. I or you and I were having classes last week, let's say, when the electricity went off, for example. So what can you tell me about, about it? Any example that comes to your mind? Me too. <laughs> okay. Right. So I was mm -hmm. watching TV. I, I was watching TV when my mother arrived. Thank you so much. I like it. Yeah. So that was that's that really makes sense, right? Anybody else? I uh, we are yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Please go ahead. <laughs> my mother was talking to me when you asked me to read the screen. <laughs> okay. Okay, my mother was talking to me when you asked me to read the screen. Okay, good, thank you so much. You see, uh, it's past, it's a close pass as somebody said it, and then one activity interrupts the other. Uh, okay, I wanna hear one more, please. And maybe the other ones send me the examples on the chat. See, Jeffrey, go ahead, what do you have? Uh, today, a few hours ago, I was, reading uh, and then I remember it that I had another homework. Okay, that one is, it's okay. I, I clearly hear the 
past continuous and also the simple past. And how can we make it shorter? How can we make it? The point is to make a complex sentence. When we link two simple sentences into only one, that's a complex because it has two simple sentences. So um, you said it, we understood it, but then how do we make it shorter? The same idea, Jeffrey. I'll give you um, maybe some seconds for you to think about it. And what about the other ones? Give me more examples on these guys, path progressive and simple path. Uh, teacher, it could be, uh, I was reading uh, when I remember that I had another homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. That sounds more like uh, accurate, it sounds like to the point, that sounds precise, that's the idea. All right, good. Um, what about the other ones? Angie is here, Evelyn, Francisco. What do you guys have? Come on, give me your examples. Mm -hmm. um, I was kissing my girlfriend when her father came back. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see. All right. Good. I think this topic is going to be very easy for you guys. And I, and I get the point. This is, a, um, I would say, maybe an intermediate topic. But, you know, from time to time, it's good to, you know, double check it. Today, I was working normally when the PC crashed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's move on. Angie, go ahead. What do you have? I was reading a very good book when I forgot at the bus. Okay, when you forgot the bus at the bus at the bus. Uh -huh. I was reading a, I was reading a good book when I forgot. I'm trying to understand that one, Angie. I'm trying to understand. Um, uh, the idea is um I was reading a very good book. But I don't know. Um, I I I run to um, bajarme del bus, uh -huh. and I and I forgot the the the, the book. So I was reading like a very good book when I I was reading a very good book and and I. Maybe end. I, I forgot to get off the bus. Maybe yeah, like get off. Okay. And, right. It's something like that. But I see. I, I see your point now. I, I forgot to get off. <laughs> okay. Get off the bus. And then boom, you say, "Where am I?" And you, my my bus stop was you know some <laughs> kilometers behind. That's really sad. Okay, I can see we have some others in here. I was cooking when the class started. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's move on. I have some examples here, some exercises for you to help me out. Uh, let's go over these. This is on the video, guys. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I need to ask some volunteers to help me to read this. Let's see who can help me out. Uh, Evelyn, please help me, please. Only with the past continuous here. Uh, no, let's do it one by one because it won't make sense. So, past continuous and simple past. This is the first one. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, a little for interference. Are you working, maybe, Evelyn? Right? Or no, I hear. No, Maybe my internet connection is bad. Uh, okay, because I hear uh, some what some uh, background. Okay, all right. Uh, so thank you so much. So while uh, while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. Okay, so that's that's and something that doesn't happen but it's an example only so next one gustavo read the second one as, as jake was running toward the ball he tripped 
and kick it into the ground wall. <laughs> Crazy example as well. So as you can see here, this is very important, ho, ho, Gustavo. This, this one, pay attention. I know you know this, but sometimes we forget. Can you say this again, please? Can you say this, this one that I'm pointing out? Triple. And this one? Kick. Kick. Mm -hmm. See, you know, I'm, I know you know this. So yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the base form is trip. If it is P, we say a trip. T kick sound you would say kick so that means that we use uh we use here this ed that right here is only a t sound right so we say trip this is this is k sound so we want to say t so we say kick okay so that's how it works okay. and this is a regular verse how to pronounce ed and that's another topic but then i think we need to pay attention to this. So we don't say triple. So we don't say kick it. We say tripped, kicked, T sounds. So good. Let's see, Jeffer. Teacher, I have a question. I know that I have problem with the ED pronounce, pronunciation in each word because I every time forgot to, to remember the, the, the vowel in the consonant word, but uh, I want to know if every time uh, it sounds, for, for example, if, if the word ends with, for example, P or K, every every time the sound is T. Uh, my, my question is if there are some exception in this rule, uh -huh. And the other in the old rule of the pronunciation of ED. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a really good question. And I don't know if I provided you with a list of, of, of letters. First thing that we need to be clear is, guys, this is not about uh, spelling. This is about sound. Once again, this is about sounds, not about spelling. Like, for example, if a word ends with a vowel, for example. Let me uh, think of an example. Uh, let's see uh, any verb that ends with a vowel, but we don't pronounce it. Let's see vowel sounds. Sometimes we don't, we have like, for example, this one, we have dense. You don't say dense, right? So you don't, you don't pronounce the E, for example, just to illustrate the idea. It's not about spelling, it's about sound. Look at this one, let's see. Um, let me see, I'm thinking about this one, walk ends with a k sound, like the ones we have on the, uh, on the screen. We have trip, ends with a p, right? But then we don't have a vowel. So it's not about um, the last word or letter, it's about the last sound. That's really important because sometimes people say, but how come we have this, this, um, let me, this one, for example, look at this one. How do you, how do you say this one? This is the one that I just wrote. This is the verb. How do, how do we say that one? What is the sound that we make? This is laugh. No. The sound is F, like F, laugh. So it's not a spelling, it's the sound. The sound we make is, here is like an F sound, right? So now, having said this, that it's not about uh, spelling, it's about sounds, we have a classification, we have an order of, of um, when we say T, when, when we say D, like D as in Delta, and when we say extra syllable, which is ID. So these words, the most common ones are the one we have here, for example, P, uh, K. This one's uh, letter, um, the sound F, right? These ones are considered voiceless sound. Whenever you have these sounds, you must say T, okay, all the time. You don't have, to, you, you cannot say D, like vibration, because it won't make sense. But then if you have uh, this one, uh, P, K, and F sounds are considered voiceless, and you have to say T. And I don't recall what's, what are the other ones. Let's see. 
uh, see, I think these are the most common ones. I don't, I don't, I don't know any other, any, any other as of now. But then, the rest, the rest of them, are like the ones with D, except the ones that ends with D or T. Okay, so if a verb ends with with D or T, this verb we must add the extra syllable. Okay, which is ed. So for example, if we have, let's see, uh, the most common ones, uh, what, uh, visit, visit. This verse already ends in a T, okay? So we should add visited, want, for example, because it ends with a T, you have to say wanted. Um, what, are, what are other ones very common? Accept, for example. Accept ends with a, with a T. And we have to say accepted because if a verb in the base form ends with a T or D, we add extra syllable. If it's not in this one, P, K, and F sound, it's very probable that all of the ones belong to the extra, extra category, which is D. So I suggest learning the T sound, which are less sounds, the T as in tango, these are less sounds than the other ones. So once you know this one, which are the, the most common ones and that are like fewer, then you know about the TD and the rest, including vowel sounds, like including vowel sounds are with the as, as, in, as in voiced pronunciation. So I, what I can give you is maybe, I don't know if you would like to, of course, uh, I can send you or you can text me if you would like this chart, or if not, I think last course, somebody sent, I don't know if it was in this group, somebody sent a chart with the, with the sounds, how to pronounce t, it and sounds, those three sounds. And then, because I sometimes, you know, listen to this mistake when people are speaking in the past, because maybe they want like somebody to understand that this is the past. So that's why they say uh, call it, for example, instead of saying cold, like the, and instead of saying uh, walked, they say walk it. So it's not necessary for you to say that because if somebody knows English, they will understand you referring to the past just simply by adding d or, or it or t sound, that's it. Um, I think this is a lot of info, but then, um, if you want to maybe get like a summary of it, just Google like, or maybe look for any book reference and say how to pronounce, t, uh, how to pronounce irregular verse. I'm sorry, how to pronounce regular verse with ED. And that will be it. So not much to worry about it. Once you are speaking, you get familiar with it and then, you know, you just let it flow. And it's really interesting because when you, are speaking, you feel as if you're not pronouncing it correctly. If you say what, if you say t and it's d because the vibration, you know, sometimes your vocal cords vibrate. And when you are speaking, you feel this is wrong because of, of the sound of the consonant or of the vowel. So um, maybe by practicing and getting, first of all, the list of sounds, uh, remember, this is sound, not a spelling. That can help a little bit, okay? And uh, maybe we can have next class uh, you explaining what you have understood because this topic is really important, especially for us as non-native speakers because we tend to mix this up. So what about if uh, tomorrow you bring some ideas? Maybe you can share because uh, there's in your ideas on the screen. I'll give you maybe two minutes each and you say, hey, this is what I found. I want to give this example. And after this sound, we have this other sound. After, uh, for example, what? L sound we pronounce it as D, the one I just gave you, cold, for example. So uh, as a conclusion, because I took too much, I talked too much sometimes. Tomorrow, I'll give you two minutes each and then you bring some ideas, okay? If you know this topic already easier, for you, right? And then you share, you know, what you found in regards of pronunciation, okay? So we can continue with our topic, which is about past and past continuous. And- Okay, when it, thank okay. you so much, teacher. All right, thank you so much for asking. Let's move on. Let's see, uh, then let's, um, 
let's read the next example. I'm trying to erase this, hold on. All right, here we go. Next one, uh, let's see, Melissa, read the next one, please. I think you were reading as Jake. Oh, I'm sorry, the secretary. The secretary was making a speech, speech. speech. when a protester threw an egg at her. Another crazy example, right? This doesn't happen in real world. But then I just imagine the, the scene, right? Um, maybe a rotten egg, a rotten, I don't know, vegetable. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice this on the next examples, on the or next exercises. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if you already solved this because this is on the platform. So I'll give you one minute for you to uh, use the verse in the parentheses and complete the ideas. Think about what is the longest action and which one interrupts the other, okay? And then you give me the answer, please. All right, so who wants to start? Just go ahead and share your answers. Okay, thank you so much, Emma. And I, I didn't know you were there, Emma. Thank you so much. Go ahead and read it for us. Okay, just I have a question. How do you for, for now the second word of the in the same in the first line? The, oh, shipwreck, the shipwreck. Shipwreck. Ship. Like this ship is wreck. the ship is you know what you we already know right on the ocean and wreck is because it's in there, okay. right? Shipwreck. And Go ahead. the the word that is after while in the first sentence wow. while divers. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, while while divers were working off the coast of Florida, Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold for two millions. The divers were feeling a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. Okay, thank you so much. Very good, exactly, that's the answer. While divers were right working and then as you said they discovered i clearly heard your pronunciation which was really good emma emma knows that after the, the dr is considered voiced and you say discovered the sound okay and then uh, this one is filming filming like ing filming and then this is irregular found okay so thank you so much. That's basically it. I want to hear one more volunteer. Now that we know the answer, just to go over this, just to go ahead and check pronunciation. Who wants to read it once again? Anybody else? One more, only reading it. Try to exaggerate on your pronunciation, guys. I know um, that's also important to do it. One more. All right, I, I see you don't want to read this basic stuff. All right, let's move on then. Okay, let's, let's complete this one. I'm going to choose one. When you finish, let me know on the chat. We need to use all these first, which are in green color, you know, to complete the ideas. Go ahead, please.
By the way, Jose sent already the, the pronunciation. Tomorrow you provide some examples, okay? This is the exact thing I use when I'm teaching this, this topic because I love the way this chart Jose just shared is explained, okay? Exactly, good. Very good. Okay, let's take one more minute and then we are going to share your ideas. You are gonna share your ideas. Okay, do I have any volunteers to read? Anybody? One windy day, a woman, what do we say next? Anybody? 10 people connected, only one or two, raise your hand and share it, please. That's working. Okay, continue. One windy day, a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street. Mm -hmm. uh, her stylist was seeing the dog through a window and noticed it poised her. Later, uh, while the essay was writing and you laying on the her care of for dog, and cat, he come up, came up with a new slogan. Living animals have bad every day. Okay, all right. I want to hear one more opinion. Thank you so much for reading, Jose. Who, want, who else wants? I know Emma sent it ready to me in the chat. Okay, so who else wants to do it? One more. Angie, go ahead, please. One windy, windy day, a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street. A higher style, um, a higher style was seeing the dog through a window and noticed his crazy hair. Later, while the, the stylist was cre creating a new line of hair products for dog and cats, he came up with a new slogan. Even animals have a bad day 
bad hair days. Okay, good. I have one quick observation on that. I can I can see the same uh, you know mistake on the previous one as Jose. And anybody else? I I like I would say this one it's okay. Uh, this one is also okay, Francisco. And this is okay, and this is okay. But then one is okay, missing. Okay, I will try. Right. One windy day, a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street. A hairstyle lift saw so the dog through a window and noticed its crazy hair. Later, while the stylist was creating a new line of hair products for dogs and cats, he came up with a new slogan, even animals have bad hair days. Okay, really good. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was it, the observation I wanted to make. Uh, we had it corrected now. This was the very, saw the dog, uh, saw the dog through, the, through a window, right, and noticed, basically, and then these two actions belong to the second one while the stylist, you know, was creating. I think I have one hands up. Jeffrey, yes. Teacher, I have a question with the pronunciation. How did you pronounce woman? Uh, because I was here that you pronounce, that you pronounce human. Woman, woman, woman. It's, it's like human. No, it's woo, woo, woo. Woman, this this word, this letter right here, guys. Most of the time, the W has a sound like an U, because the W is an U sound. The the sound of the W is wa wa. That's the that's that's the sound in uh, in phonetics wa. So wo, woman 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 no. Ooh. Sometimes it's like I rather say ooh, ooh, woman, 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 and then no human, no 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 J sound, no hot that. Um, in this one, this is an area. Don't say who. Uh, when there are more of one, woman is women. It's women, women. Mm -hmm. Yes, women. That's plural. Yeah, yeah. Like when you have this word, for example, uh, like this one. And then in this case, what, 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 what? And I hear people saying with J here, but then it makes sense because we have an H right here. What, 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 but then it's what, what, where, 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 why, um, which, ooh, ooh, ooh sound. Basically, the W, the sound, the more common sound is like O sound, what sound, what sound. Well, guys, thank you for asking. This is a very short story. And I have some other examples that I want you to help me to solve. Okay, so let's continue to work on this. And this is the next one. Uh, we're going to do this. I think I'm going to give you three minutes or so. Or maybe you can at once. Help me out. Let's use the verb in the parentheses and let's complete the idea. Who wants to try? Number one, read it and then try to complete it. Me. She was Thank surfing when shark when the shark attacked her. Awesome. Very good. Attacked. Attacked. Attacked her. Good. Number two, Emma. He was dancing at, at a party when he met or met met his girlfriend. Met his girlfriend. His girlfriend. Good. Next one. Very good. Number three. Thank you, Gustavo. Was... Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Angie. I was having a picnic when I saw my sister. Thank you. Next one, uh, Evelyn, go ahead. Mm. 
Melissa, thank you. Number four. Um, when they were um, see, I don't know, seeing. Hmm, let's analyze that one. Which action is longer? Which one interrupts the other one? When they were seeing the shark, they swam in the sea. But I don't sure when seeing. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Any other opinion? Let's let's analyze the sentence. Which one is it? Uh -huh. Yeah, please. When they saw the shark, they were swimming in the sea. Exactly. That would be it. Uh, thank you so much, Evelyn, Melissa. Uh, the action that, that is longer is swimming. Imagine they're swimming, having a great time, and boom, all of a sudden they saw the shark. So that's the action that interrupts. Okay. So therefore, the answer is the one um, Evelyn just said. How about number five? Susan? Uh, Jeffrey, what, what is it, Susan? Susan was arriving while I had dinner. Hmm. Any other opinion? Susan arrived while I was having dinner. Hmm. Very good. Yeah, in this case, Jeffrey, most of the time, most of the time, like I would say maybe a 90%, while is followed by the ING or by the press pass you know, progressive, most of the time. So, and it makes sense. Susan arrived while I was having dinner. So basically the action that is longer is like you are eating, you were eating, and then all of a sudden, Susan, boom, arrived. And that's it. And she stayed or she did whatever she did. All right, number six, let's see. Volunteer, number six. He was Me. playing football. Mm -hmm. He was playing football when he broke his leg. Exactly. Very good. He was playing football when he broke his leg. And that was so painful, I think. And number seven, let's see. Uh, raise your hand, please. Number seven, what is it? Thank you, Francisco. Share it with us. I was waiting. I was waiting for my friends when the bus arrived. All right, very good. Uh, look at this one. This is what I was telling you. Thank you, Francisco. This verb arrive ends with the E, but you don't pronounce the E. The last sound is B, and B is pronounced with D. So arrived. Even though if it ends with an E, vowels are pronounced with D, but then not all the time. So, all right, good. And the last one, Emma, help us please. Number eight. When I got back, my mom was cooking dinner. Mm -hmm. Yes, when I got back, my mom was cooking dinner and she cooks delicious or she uh, usually cooks nice food for me or very delicious food for me, etc. Now let's continue. Let me see. Let me raise here and let's move on. There are some other practice. Let's do it. We have some time. So let's work on this. Wow, this is now I have a challenge because it's a story. And I don't want you to like complete it. Let's try to solve it like all at once. Okay. So who wants to start the story? Thank you so much, Jeffrey. You start and you decide when to stop. Try to follow. The, past tense or uh, you know progressive if necessary sometimes uh -huh. sometimes i hate computer once when i uh, share what the pass of try if it is past like simple past tried if it is uh continuous is trying okay uh, sometimes I had computer once when I tried to do my English homework on my laptop, the battery uh, ran out. Uh, 
I laid on my bed and I was listening to music on Spotify. It helped me to concentrate. Thank you, Jeffer. Let's, I want to listen to one more opinion until concentrate. Who wants to try? Do you agree with Jeffer's opinion? Emma, please. Sometimes I hate computers. Once, when I was trying to do my English homework on my laptop, the battery ran out. I lied on my bed and I was listening to music on Spotify. It helps me to concentrate. Okay, I heard two different opinions and that's, that makes it interesting. I wanna hear one more opinion on the same sentence. Who wants to try it? First one, Jeffrey said tried, but Emma said was trying. And then what is it? Then I heard lying here and lied. So is it, what is it then? Anybody else who wants to uh, participate, guys? One more opinion. I think I'm gonna give you maybe um, some time for you to think about it. Maybe not much time, two to time. I'm gonna give you three minutes. And there are 14, 15 verses. Just to have an idea. Maybe write from one to 14 and then say, this is, pres this is past progressive, this is simple past, okay? Go ahead and start working on this, please. Okay, when you finish, when you have the answer, please let me know. For I tried. Okay, all right, please. Okay, sometimes I hate computers. Was when I was trying to do my English homework on my laptop, the battery ran out. I was lying on my bed and I was listening to music on Spotify. It helped me to concentrate. I was also chatting to my friend Daniel on Facebook. Okay, so I was not concentrated very hard on my homework and I forgot to 
plug plug in my laptop. I didn't notice the battery was getting low. I was just finishing the easy, 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 I don't know, when the screen going black. I lose everything. I was screaming. In frustration. So finish or, or continue? Uh, like that, it's okay. Thank you so much. So you ended until in frustration, right? So you gave us uh, until, let's say, number nine. Okay, okay, good. I have some observations here. Okay, um, I wanna maybe, well, this one I heard um, wasn't concentrated, I heard here, but we want to use this verb as, this word as a verb. So we don't say wasn't, we say past tense. So what do we say? And then um, this one I heard, I was lying. And then um, we have end, we can have two simultaneous things that make sense. But in this case, I want to say the past of this verse. So what is the past? Because the action is like you, you basically, I don't want to say the verb. Uh, and then you start listening to music, okay? But then um, this are the number seven. Number seven, I heard, uh, I don't know if it was me, but I heard going. I didn't hear the. Both. Mm -hmm. Right, but I, take a look at this. Room. I was just finishing the essay when the screen. I was just listening to the. I was just finishing, I'm sorry, the essay when the screen. Can you picture the scenario? You are like maybe typing in in a computer and that's the long action. And then what happened when the screen is not going, it's not uh, was going, it's an action that goes like when. exactly when, when black booms and then what happened here. And then what else? They say, I, I heard lose and it's I, what do we say? If something goes off, is something goes black, or if it went black in this case, what's, what's the verb right here? Same as in the previous one. What is the verb we need in number eight? What is the verb we need here? Lost. Exactly. Lost. Lost. Okay. And I, number nine. Green screamed very good in frustration okay let's review because i don't want to continue with the next part until we are very clear on this so this is this is the idea number one we're gonna leave it guys uh, i'm gonna help you because we only have five minutes and we're not gonna finish it maybe first one i agree is uh past continuous i was trying i was trying okay i was trying I was trying to do my homework on my laptop. The battery, what happened to the battery? The simple pass, I write it down right here, ran out, okay, ran out. And then here, I wanna use, I wanna respect what they say, because this is actually, we can say both uh, lying, but then we also have the pass, which is lay on my bed and I was listening to music on a Spotify. It helps me to concentrate. I, this was correct. What um, I think it was, um, who said it? I think, who, who gave us the answer? I just forgot. I think it was Gustavo, right? So I was, and then I was also chatting, right? Chatting, chatting, double T. Uh, to my friend on Facebook. And then this is the one I wanted to say. So it's simple past. I didn't. I didn't concentrate very hard on my homework. And I 
what past forgot to plug in my laptop i didn't notice that the battery was getting low i was just finishing the essay when the screen and somebody already said the answer and the screen went went black and then what happened i lost i lost everything and what 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 did i do i screamed this is regular okay okay and then infrastructure so for tomorrow i'm gonna give you or uh, maybe like now you can start working from 10 to number 15 or i don't know if you if somebody already has it we have three minutes maybe emma i can see emma willing to participate no or maybe jeffrey i see a lot of energy in your faces so so what do we say my dad we have three minutes uh -huh. my dad came running into my bed i was almost crying so he gave me his laptop i was trying to remember everything in my list yeah. yes. yes, it was quite difficult especially because daniel was sending me lots of fun, lots of funny videos anyway anyway while i was watching one the wi-fi stopped working in the end it was probably better because i i managed to finish my thing that was perfect okay thank you so much you got my answers <laughs> okay yeah that's the answer so um if you will if you don't mind you can share that on the on the chat so everybody has those answers and we're going to go over this reading tomorrow i want to read it once again so we make it sound as if, as if it is a real story okay and then we are going to retake this tomorrow for us to double check on meaning and double check on pronunciation maybe and uh, tomorrow we are also going to complete one more story on the same topic, okay? And um, well, guys, do you have any additional question? Are you working on the platform? Today we start with um, section number four, okay? I do invite you to watch the story we have in there. It's a spooky story, like stories and a lot of things, you know, good ones, good vocabulary in there, watch it. It's, it's, it's fun okay um so how about a nice night and see you tomorrow guys take care see you just see you send tomorrow. thank tomorrow. you okay bye bye thank you